Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a clean the fridge with me video. I am doing this along with Surviving as a Mom. You guys should go check out her YouTube channel. I'll put the link in the description box. Show her some love and subscribe to her channel. She's got some really great videos. I normally try to clean out my refrigerator once a week, but I've been sick lately and I'm still recovering and I haven't really had a chance to do this and it's long overdue. So I will show you the before of what the refrigerator looks like. Now, no judging. <laughs> I haven't been able to work on this in a while. It is very packed right now, very unorganized, and the shelves and then these trays in here really need wiped out really bad because, um, you know, the condiments and dressings and stuff kind of leak on there. Um, so I just really need to work on that. And then in the freezer here, it's very unorganized and everything's just kind of piled in there. Um, so whenever I need something, I just kind of dig through and get it out. So I'm looking forward to getting this all organized and I've got some chicken breasts that I need to put into bags because I individually froze those on my tray. So yeah, let's get started and get this fridge cleaned and organized. Don't forget to clean out the very bottom of your refrigerator. Look at all that. Isn't that disgusting? Actually, that's just dirt, mostly dirt from potatoes. Here is the aftermath on the counter from everything from the refrigerator and freezer. Um, so this over here, this jar of spaghetti sauce, I opened it up the other day when we had spaghetti. I love getting this one from Costco. The only thing is the, the jars are bigger than a normal jar of spaghetti. So we don't use the whole jar when we eat spaghetti or pizza or whatever. So I'm going to stick this in this container here and stick it in the freezer for next time when we have spaghetti. So I'll probably get another small container and um, I have pizza on the menu for next week. So I'll do that for spaghetti and pizza. And then this here are some probiotics that I had for Miles when he was a baby and they expired several months ago and it's practically empty. Um, so I'm just gonna toss that. And then all these plastic bags, I normally save them um, to put bread in or um, you know when I open a bag of veggies or something. So I'm gonna toss these ones and I kept out a few to stick back in the freezer for when I need them. Here is the after all cleaned and organized. So up top I have our almond milk, juices, cheese, and eggs. The next shelf down is for sandwich stuff and then some sandwich meat back there. And then this shelf is where I usually keep leftovers. This is um, some homemade granola bars for my husband and these you guys if you've never had these tortillas from Costco they're raw uncooked oh man they are so good so we're actually having fajitas tonight and then this is my produce shelf so I keep my spinach here and then I'm making a fruit salad on Sunday and um, I just stuck these in the refrigerator because I don't want to forget and then back here I have my baked potatoes and I have them in this little basket here um, I actually got this at Walmart for 78 cents. It is um, similar to the ones you get at the Dollar Tree, a little bit smaller, um, but it's way more sturdy and uh, it's only 78 cents. Um, so I have my potatoes in there and usually I keep them in a bag on the shelf, but sometimes there's a little bit too much moisture with a bag there. So I'll just put, you know, the bag here on the shelf and that's why there's like there was so much dirt down there um, and there was a lot of dirt on the shelf too so I thought maybe I would try it in this basket and maybe that would contain it a little bit more. This drawer here is for my uh, carrots and fruits so I got cuties and apple and carrots 
And this one here is the veggie drawer. I've just got some onions and bell pepper. And yes, I'm weird. I keep my onions and potatoes in the fridge. And down here, this is my designated raw meat drawer. So anytime I go to the store and I get raw meat, it always goes in here first um, until I can stick it in the freezer or do something with it. If I take meat out to thaw, which is what I did, is there some chicken thighs thawing for dinner tomorrow. And then I've got some marinating chicken in a bowl under there. And then I've got some bacon here. Oh, I'm so excited about this. Uh, you guys will see what I'm going to do with this next week. Very excited about that. Okay, and then the door up here is just for butter, and then this here is for salsa and peanut butter and jelly, or almond butter, and then this is for condiments and salad dressings. Um, here's a little weird fact about me. I hate mayonnaise, mustard, and ketchup. They are the worst ever. Yes, I'm weird. I like barbecue sauce, but yeah, these, ugh, disgusting. They wouldn't even be in my fridge except for um, my husband likes them. So I'm nice and I buy them for him. And then down here, I just have my better than bouillon chicken and beef base. Um, I got some coconut liquid aminos. These are really good, um, soy free. And then I also have the, the Bragg's one. I was using this before I cut out soy, but I'm not doing any soy right now. And then I have some of this stuff. Don't even know how to say it. I'm not even gonna try. And then red wine vinegar. And then down here, I have my gluten-free baking mix. It's the Bob's Red Mill one-to-one. -one. This stuff is really good. I made banana bread with this. Oh, it was amazing. I'll link my banana bread recipe video um, down in the description box. I made it the exact same way, except for I just used this in place of the regular flour. Oh, it was so good. I wanna make some more. And then I've got some maple syrup, and I just bought this ginormous thing of garlic at Costco. It is 48 ounces, and it was only like four something. I normally get the little teeny tiny eight ounce jar at uh, Walmart for like $2.50, so this was a great price. I hope this lasts a while. Here it is, all organized. Looks much better. So in the door over here, I have all our orange juice concentrate, and then I've got the extra Ziploc bags down there. Then this is a meat drawer. Um, I've got all my chicken in there. Um, if you're interested how I freeze my chicken um, individually before I put it in bags, then check out my food prep video. I'll put the link in the description box and you can see how I do that. This drawer here is uh, filled with fruit for smoothies. Then back there I have a bunch of uh, frozen breast milk. This drawer is all of our beef. We have a ginormous roast two pounds of ground beef and then some sirloin steak. And this shelf here is um, all of our frozen vegetables and then um, the blueberries because it obviously doesn't fit in that drawer. This shelf here is for leftovers and cooked meat and breads and stuff that I freeze. Um, here's the spaghetti sauce that I'm freezing. This is just some leftover potato soup. Um, I've got some cinnamon bread that I made that's frozen, some uh, carrot muffins for miles in here, and then I've got breadsticks, and then this is some um, uh, nitrate-free uh, turkey meat that I got from Costco, and I just froze it in individual servings um, and then stuck it in the bag, and that way um, I could just pull it out for sandwiches or um, whatever if I just want to eat some. And then back here, I, um, I cooked a roast the other day, and it was a huge roast. Um, it's actually my What's For Dinner video, and I took the leftovers and froze it with some of the broth in here, so that's a whole another meal in and of itself. And then this is just a chicken breast that I boiled and shredded. Um, we're gonna have that with burritos next week. Here's just some gravy, and then here's the rest of the pasta sauce um, that I just froze in here for pizza next week. Up here, I have my yeast in this yogurt container, um, flour, and then back here I just have a bag of ice for the cooler and then that little blue thing there is a cold pack for the lunchbox. So that is everything from the freezer all organized. Now take a look at the outside of my refrigerator, especially down here. I don't know if you can see that, but the water from the refrigerator drips into that little container and Miles discovered that he can finger paint on the fridge with that water. So he was busy doing that earlier this morning and I'm gonna get that all cleaned up. Now I normally clean the outside of our refrigerator um, as a part of my evening cleaning routine, but since I'm cleaning out the refrigerator right now, um, I'm just going to go ahead and wipe it all down. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to sweep up all the crumbs from the shelves that made its way onto the floor as I was cleaning. 
So to clean the outside of my refrigerator, I just take a wet rag and a simple uh, microfiber rag that I got from Walmart, and I just wash it down with the wet one and wipe it with the dry one. So for just that door panel down there um, where the water spots are, because it's kind of stained, I use these um, stainless steel wipes. And we're finished. I hope you found this video motivating to go get your refrigerator cleaned and organized. Don't forget to check out Surviving as a Mom's channel. She's doing her refrigerator too, so lots of motivation there. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in my next video.